All right, guys, welcome back. It is Saturday night again, and that means it is time for another awesome Saturday night snack in a movie with a sweet movie and an even sweeter snack. I actually came up with this week's snack before I picked the movie, and I had a couple of ideas of what I wanted to do. I actually wanted to do Rocky and Bullwinkle because the snack is peanut butter mousse, and there is a mousse in Rocky and Bullwinkle, but I don't have that movie and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I came downstairs to my very own video store and I looked all around here through all my videos and when I saw it, I knew it was the one. And what I'm talking about is Hook. Disney's Hook. Is this even Disney? I don't even think this is Disney. This is Steven Spielberg. This one is Disney. <laughs> and I may even decide to have a double feature because it would be kind of cool to watch this one and then watch this one because they're sort of alike, but then again, they're not. This one is a cartoon. This one is real people. And this one stars Robin Williams and Dustin Hoffman and Julia Roberts and Bob Hoskins, who if you guys know who he is, he was the private investigator in who framed Roger Rabbit? I don't even think I have that movie. I might have that movie on VHS. If you guys have seen Who Framed Roger Rabbit, make sure you leave me a comment below. Maybe we'll do that movie for one of these Saturday Night Snack in the Movies. But for tonight, we are going to watch Hook with Robin Williams, one of my favorite movies of all time. So I definitely had to get it in 4K. It actually took me a little while to come around to liking Rufio, because he's just one of those characters that doesn't really fit, but they needed him to make the movie. And after seeing this about 150 times, now I love him. So grab your pillows and blankets, let's take a trip to Neverland and make an awesome snack that we are going to call Peter Pan Peanut Butter Moose. Okay, so to make this, I'm using a recipe from a website called The Big Man's World, because I'm a big man. <laughs> this recipe uses five ingredients. You actually only need four. And the things that I'm going to use, I'm making a lower carb version of this. You don't have to use these exact ingredients. In fact, it's going to be cheaper if you don't. The first thing we need is peanut butter. Now, I know that this is not Peter Pan peanut butter, even though this is called Peter Pan peanut butter moose. But I already had this giant jar here at home and I didn't see any Peter Pan peanut butter at the store when I was shopping. The next thing you need is a block of cream cheese. I'm going to let this sit out and get room temperature so that it's nice and soft and it'll mix easier. The next thing you need is heavy whipping cream. This is Land O'Lakes, but you can actually get Walmart's brand great value for probably about a dollar cheaper. The ingredient that you don't necessarily need, but we're going to put it in there is vanilla extract. And you need some confectioner's sugar or powdered sugar. Same thing. This is Swerve. Since this is a low carb sugar, this costs $7 for this little bag right here. You can get a bag of regular powdered sugar at Walmart about three times this size for two bucks. And while we're speaking about the low carbs, let me remind you guys that if you are not watching the new series that I am doing with the Pacer Walking Challenges, make sure you check them out. There is a video up right now that explains the whole situation. Episode one is already up. I've already completed one of the challenges. And the second challenge, I am already almost halfway through. And that video is coming together so awesome, I can't wait for you to see it. I have several different kinds of mixers here, but we're gonna go old school with this guy. Now this recipe is super simple. Each of the ingredients uses one cup, except for the vanilla extract, which I believe is one teaspoon. Let me take a look. In a large mixing bowl, beat together the peanut butter, cream cheese, powdered sugar, and vanilla extract, and set aside. I just flung a whole hunk of peanut butter on my laptop. Gently beat a quarter of the whipped cream into the peanut butter mixture, fold through another half of the cream, and mix well 
Then add the remaining cream until combined. Wow, that is really thick, guys. Look at that. If I had to guess, I would say that there's too much peanut butter in there. I put a cup in, but man, that is just really, really thick. I'm just going to give it a little... Mmm. It is delicious, though. Oh my gosh. That is good. I can just sit here with a bowl and spoon it. <laughs> The directions actually say to put it in a piping bag with a swirly tip. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's basically a baker's bag. And you can put different tips on there, different styles to make it look like roses, or different types of piping is what they call it when you're putting frosting on a cake. In this case, it's strictly to make it look good. I don't have a piping bag, so we're not going to do that. But it does also say put into mason jars or glass jars and refrigerate for 30 minutes. Now I was gonna stop at the Dollar Tree and see if I could find small glass jars and I completely forgot while I was out. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this little glass bowl here. We're just gonna put in enough for one serving, a man-sized serving, <laughs> and then we're gonna stick that in the fridge and let it chill for a half an hour. The rest of this we'll have to put in some other kind of bowl and stick it in there as well, but that means we can have some more later. There we go, that looks really good right there and we didn't even need the piping bag. That may even be too much because this stuff is really, really rich. But let's go ahead and put it in the fridge, we'll wait a half an hour and then we'll see how it tastes. Okay, it's been about a half an hour, maybe a little bit longer. There is our peanut butter mousse, and we're going to give it a little taste test here. Mmm, that smells so good. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. It's not real hard. It's still soft. Not as soft as it was, though. Oh my gosh, guys. I usually prefer pudding over mousse, but this stuff I will eat any day of the week. So absolutely delicious. Peter Pan, peanut butter mousse for the win. I'm taking my mousse and taking my Peter Pan and going downstairs to watch Hook. <laughs>